Two Little Hands Productions presents... Rachel and the Tree Schoolers! Rachel and the Tree Schoolers! I'm Penny! I'm Simon! I'm Abacus Finch! Rachel and the Tree Schoolers! Chroma Chameleon! Yo, I'm Isaac Newt! <laughs> Rachel and the Tree Schoolers! Abigail Nightingale! The Firefly Hue! <laughs> and me, Tomas, you love me. Rachel and the Tree Schoolers. We love preschool. We love tree school. Rachel and the Tree Schoolers. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to school. Today, we will learn about one of my favorite subjects, our solar system and outer space. Ever since I was little, I've wanted to visit space. And I would sit on my bed and wish on shooting stars and enjoy the glow of the moon. And I would wonder, what is a star? And how could I learn more about the wondrous night sky? I wonder, do you wonder? It all begins with wonder. With a question on your mind, you will find the world is wonderful. I wonder, do you wonder? The world is full of wonder. Every day is a surprise. You and I will find the wonderful. Hey, everybody, listen up. This is serious. What is it, Simon? What's wrong? I've been watching the moon for a while now, and something fishy's going on. What did I do? Well, the moon started out looking like this. And then each day, a small sliver seems to disappear. I believe someone is stealing the moon. One sliver at a time. It wasn't me. <laughs> well, if these drawings are correct, then according to my calculations, Tonight, there will be no moon left! That's terrible! Oh, no! How can this be? Who would do such a thing? I think the real question to ask is how? It's so big! What exactly is the moon? It must be pretty valuable for someone to snatch it like that. I wonder about different planets. I wonder about things too far. To see. I wonder what makes stars bright. I wonder what the moon's like. I'd love to learn about astronomy. I wonder, do you wonder? It all begins with wonder. With a question on your mind, you will find the world is wonderful. The question on your mind, you will find the world is wonderful. What will we do without the moon? I am a nightingale. I sing in the moonlight. Hm. I'm going to investigate and get to the bottom of... Mystery of the Missing Moon. There has to be a scientific explanation for why the moon is disappearing. Maybe we should ask Rachel for help. You're right, Isaac. There is a scientific explanation for where the moon has gone. In fact, there is an entire field of science that is dedicated to studying the universe and all of the objects in it. It's called astronomy. 
astronomy. Star study. Astronomy helps us learn about all kinds of things, like stars, planets, comets, and galaxies. Our planet Earth is in the Milky Way galaxy. It was named the Milky Way because of its milky appearance as it stretches across the sky. But how's this going to help us solve the mystery of the missing moon? Well, Simon, before we can solve the mystery, we need to learn more about astronomy. So cool. Yes, and I love to play connect the dots because sometimes they make pictures called constellations. Stars are so beautiful. Whenever I see a shooting star, I always make a wish. They look like little diamonds twinkling in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Are stars made out of diamonds, Rachel? I'm surprised no one wanted to steal a star. Stars are not made of diamonds, Bongo, but I can see why you might think that. You see, stars are actually balls of plasma, but they're so far away that they look like small bright dots in the dark sky. Some stars are faraway suns in outer space. space, space. So stars are balls of plasma? I guess we don't have to wonder what they are anymore. Twinkle, twinkle, big bright sun, here you are, my day's begun. You don't rise and you don't set, it's sometimes easy to forget. You hold still as Earth spins round, while I'm standing on the ground. So the sun doesn't really rise and set, it doesn't move at all. The earth rotates on its axis and moves around the sun. But see that bright star by the moon? It's not always there. It comes and goes. That's not a star. It's a planet. It's a planet? What? What? Yeah, I knew that. Planet shining in the sky, I can see you with my eyes. I once thought you were a star. It's hard to tell cause you're so far You're a planet, yes it's true Red, orange, yellow, green, or blue But what about shooting stars and falling stars? 
What are those? Look, a shooting star. Twinkle, twinkle, shooting star. Streaks of light seen from afar. Tiny bits of dust and rock. Earth's atmosphere lights you up. What's the red and green flashing star I see at night? That's my favorite. Oh, Bongo, that's actually an airplane. Airplane, airplane, flying round. Sometimes I hear zooming sounds. I can see your flashing lights moving slowly through the night. Now I know just what you are. You're my favorite, not a star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bongo. So our sun is actually a star. That's right, Simon. The sun is Earth's nearest star. That's why it's so big and bright. In fact, the sun is so big, a million Earths could fit inside it. Okay, okay, okay. So first there is the universe, and within the universe, there are galaxies. And within the galaxies, there are lots and lots of stars. And our sun is a star, which has its own solar system. And a solar system is made up of planets that rotate around a sun. Huh. Did you know that scientists believe there are diamonds on planet Uranus? Well, then why isn't somebody trying to steal the planet Uranus instead of the moon? The center of our solar system is the sun. It's a star. There are eight orbiting planets, and some have moons. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and there's a dwarf planet, Pluto, and some asteroids, too. Now, let's go for a ride while we sing this tune. Yep. 
Jupiter, Jupiter, Saturn, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus, Neptune. Neptune. Let's go. We're cruising through our solar system. 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 Freeze like a star. We're cruising through our solar system. 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 Freeze like a star. It's something I do not understand. How do the planets circle around the sun? Why do they not simply float away? That is an excellent question, Tomas. Do you remember when Simon dropped his egg with a parachute at the science fair and we learned about gravity? <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course oh, I do. I sure do. Uh -huh. Well, gravity is what pulls us down and keeps us from floating away. And it's also what keeps the planets from floating away. I think this will help. Gravity, gravity is pulling me, pulling me down. the universe there are galaxies. Our galaxy is the Milky Way galaxy. I love milk. It's delicious. <laughs> well, and inside the galaxies are a ton of stars. And our sun is a star, which is the center of our solar system. Our solar system has eight planets. The sun's gravity helps the planets orbit around the sun. And some planets have moons. We live on planet Earth. 
It only has one moon. Hmm. So does Earth's gravity help the moon orbit around Earth? Yes, Simon. I think you're on to something. Our planet Earth only has one moon. The moon is lit up by the sun as the moon orbits the Earth. Orbit means to circle around. Orbit. Sometimes we can see the whole moon, but other times we can only see small parts of it that are reflecting light from the sun. It takes the moon about a month to go from big and bright to small and dim and then back again. This is why the shape of the moon changes. These are called moon phases. New moon, I can't see you, can't see you in the night. Waxing crescent, just a slice, reminds me of a smile. Waxing light, growing, waxing light, expanding. Waning light, shrinking, waning light, decreasing. New moon, I can't see you, can't see you in the night. Waxing crescent, just a slice, reminds me of your smile. First quarter, half moon, then waxing gibbous growing. Gibbous moons are more than half, let's see the moonlight glowing. Full moon, I see you. Big and bright and round Once the moon is big and round Waning brings it down Third quarter, half moon Then waning crescent slice Before we say goodnight to New moon, I can't see you Can't see you in the night Waxing, waning, ever changing up in the sky Gibbous light up more than half Gibbous getting bigger Crescent light is less than half Crescent's just a sliver New moon, I can't see you Can't see you in the night Waxing crescent, just a slice Reminds me of a smile Waxing light growing, waxing light expanding Waning light shrinking, waning light decreasing New moon, I can't see you, can't see you in the night Waxing crescent, just a slice, reminds me of your smile First quarter, half moon, then waxing gibbous growing. Gibbous moons are more than half, let's see the moonlight glowing. Full moon, I see you, big and bright and round. Once the moon is big and round, waning brings it down. Third quarter, Half moon, then waning crescent slice Before I say goodnight to you To you To you Hmm. So, based on my clues, I have come to the conclusion that no one is stealing the moon after all. I've just been charting the moon's phases. Cool. I'm relieved. <laughs> of course. So this means we have finally solved... Dun, dun, dun. The mystery of the missing moon. Great job, Simon. That's right. And we learned a bunch of cool space stuff in the process. I'm so glad Simon was able to solve the mystery. Did you know that humans have walked on the moon? Whoa! 
The gravity on the moon isn't as strong as Earth's gravity. That means everything weighs less on the moon than it does on Earth. See the astronauts on the moon? Astronaut. An astronaut is someone who gets to travel into space. That looks like so much fun. <laughs> yeah! I would love to travel into space. Me too. Me that too. would be awesome. <sighs> Alas, I doubt that animals can travel into space. Actually, Hugh, a lot of animals have traveled into space. Like crickets, snails, butterflies, jellyfish, mice, rats, frogs, and newts. Say what? That's right. And even dogs and monkeys. <laughs> no way! Absolutely. I want to be an astronaut. Well, maybe someday you can, Bongo. People long ago looked up to the sky. They saw the twinkling stars and started asking how, what, and why. They saw patterns in the stars, so they gave them names. They called them constellations. They helped them know the time and seasons and navigate. Copernicus discovered through mathematics and astronomy that the planets revolved around the sun. What an incredible discovery. Galileo made a telescope in 1609. He saw craters on the moon and with some time he saw Jupiter's moons and discovered sun. Looking to the stars, stars, stars. Keep on asking what, how, why. Keep looking to the stars, stars, stars. See how far we'll fly, fly, fly. Keep looking to the stars, stars, stars. Keep on asking what, how, why. Keep looking to the stars, stars, stars. See how far we'll fly, fly, fly. Keep looking to the stars. Scientists kept asking how, what, and why. Like Isaac Newton, Tycho Brahe, Johannes Kepler, Stephen Hawking, and Albert Einstein. Everything we learn is like a little puzzle piece that helps us understand the universe and do amazing things. Man launched the sun. Into space. It was 1957, the start of the space race. In 1961, men flew into space in a rocket ship, inspiring the human race. In 1969, men walked on the moon, inspiring our hearts. Amazing things we do. In 2012, we sent a rover to Mars. Maybe someday we'll be driving there in cars. Keep looking to the stars, stars, stars. Asking what, how, why? Keep looking to the stars, stars, stars. See how far we'll fly, fly, fly. You don't have to fly to outer space. You can do amazing things every single day. You can be the best you that you can be.
We asked a lot of questions today, just like scientists from the past. And now we know so much about space and our solar system. What do you know? I know that astronomy is the study of objects in space. I know that a star is a faraway sun. I know that the solar system is the sun and the objects that orbit around it. I know that we live in the Milky Way galaxy. I know that the moon goes through phases. And I know as long as I keep looking for clues, I can eventually find answers. How awesome is that? That's great, Simon. Good job on solving the mystery of the missing moon. You guys sure know a lot about outer space. space, 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 space. And I know a way that you will never, ever forget what you know. Yes, you've wondered, you kept on asking, you kept on asking till you understood. And now that you know the answer, there's just one more thing you have to do. Go share it with a friend, share it with a friend, share it with a friend, yes anyone will do. Share it with a friend, share it with a friend When you share it with a friend It becomes a part of you You can share it with a grown-up A baby or a shoe You can share it with a neighbor A bird or bee or newt Go share it with a friend Share it with a friend Share it with a friend, it with a friend. Yes, anyone Share it with a friend, share it with a friend When you share it with a friend It becomes a part of you Share it! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, oh. You stepping on my air hole! Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. It was fun exploring space with you today. Did you see that shooting star? Let's make a wish. My wish is to explore and imagine, to learn and share with you each and every day. I wonder, what did you wish? I wonder, do you wonder? It all begins with wonder. With a question on your mind, you will find the world is wonderful. With a question on your mind, you will find the world is wonderful. Have you ever been looking for something and thought, hey, who took my... <laughs> and, and then you find it? Sometimes we jump to conclusions and look for someone to blame. Simon thought someone was stealing the moon. But when he learned more about the moon, he discovered the moon phases and solved the mystery. Next time something happens that you can't explain, instead of thinking of someone to blame, take a moment and do some research. Ask more questions. What else is possible? You might be surprised by what mysteries you can solve. Airplane. With your thumb, your pointer, and pinky, fly the airplane. Airplane. Animals. Show the animal breathing. Animal. Astronaut. 
It's a person who travels into space. Astronaut. Astronomy. Sign stars and then study the stars. Astronomy is the study of stars. Butterflies. Hook your thumbs together and then fly away. Butterflies. Comet. Here's the Earth. Here's the comet with its tail. Comet. Constellations. Sign stars. It's a group of stars and a shape within that group. Constellations. Day. Your finger moves across the sky like the sun. Day. Dog. Pat your leg and snap. Earth. Show the earth and its axis. Earth. Eclipse. The moon goes in front of the sun. Eclipse. Explore. You use your hands to look. If you're exploring space, you could look up there. Falling star. First, sign star. Show the earth and it falls past. Falling star. Frogs. Your two fingers pop out under your chin. Frog. Galaxy. Put your hands together, bring them up, show everything in the galaxy and back together. Galaxy. Gas. Your hands show the gas moving through space. Gravity. You can fingerspell gravity. You can show the gravitational pull or you can show an object coming down to Earth. Gravity. Horizon. Show the horizon in front of you or you can use your hands to show the horizon this way. Horizon. The inferior planets are the planets that are between the Sun and Earth. So first show, here's the Sun, now here's Earth, and here are the inferior planets. Jupiter. J-U-P-I-T-E-R. Jupiter. Light year. It's how far light can travel in a year. Mars, you finger spell it, M-A-R-S. Mercury, finger spell, M-E-R-C-U-R-Y, Mercury. Mice, use your finger and touch your nose twice, mice. Moon, show the shape of the moon in the sky. Moon phases. Sign moon and now show the phases starting with the full moon, big and bright and round, and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it disappears, the new moon, and then they come back up to a full moon. Moon phases. Moon rock. Monkey. Move your arms like a monkey. Monkey. Mountain. Show a rock. And now, the side of the mountain. Mountain. Mystery. This is like a puzzle that you're trying to figure out. Mystery. Neptune. Fingerspell N-E-P-T-U-N-E. -E. Neptune. New moon. The new moon is a dark moon. New moon. Night. Show the sun going down. Night. Orbit. Show an object and then something else orbiting around. Orbit or orbit or orbit. Planets. Show the shapes of the planets. And you're going to finger spell their names. The only planet with a name sign is Earth, because that's where we live. And we have to talk about it a lot. So Earth and other planets. Pluto. Finger spell P-L-U-T-O. 
O. Rats, using an R, hit your nose twice. Rocket, show the rocket taking off. You can also sign launch and shuttle. Saturn, fingerspell S-A-T-U-R-N, Saturn. Shooting star, sign star and show it shooting across the sky. Shooting star. Snail, show the snail moving along your arm. Solar system. First, show the sun in the center and everything around it, or you can sign solar system. Space. Use your finger to show space. Space. Stars. Brush your fingers together, pointing at the stars. Sun. If you're showing sunlight, you sign sun. But to show our sun in our solar system, sun. Telescope. Pretend you're looking through a telescope. Telescope. Uranus. U-R-A-N-U-S. Venus. Fingerspell. V-E-N-U-S. Waning. In the phases of the moon, waning is when it's getting smaller. Waning. Waxing. Show the moon getting brighter. Fuller and brighter. Waxing. X-rays. You fingerspell X-R-A-Y-S. X-rays. Year. It's one full rotation. Year. Zenith. Point straight up. Zenith. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next time.